Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt the Perry Logan Show to bring you the following announcement. Sorry, I had this sad announcement. Okay. This is Perry Logan. Thank you for watching. It's March 1st, 2012. The sad news is that Davy Jones of the Monkees has died. Hey, and that's not funny, okay? That's not funny when a musician dies, okay? Another famous person died, and this was conservative attack dog Andrew Bartbright, who died at the age of 43. <laughs> Andrew Breitbart is dead, and we're laughing! I'm sorry. There is some genuine sad news. A beloved musician, Davy Jones of the Monkees, has died. And I'm not laughing. Nobody's laughing, okay? Rest in peace, Davy. Okay. On the other hand, <laughs> <laughs> Andrew Breitbart is dead. <laughs> Don't you just love it? Breitbart is dead. Don't you just love it? <laughs> okay, stop laughing. <sighs> Hi. <laughs> By the way, Andrew Breitbart is still dead. <laughs> and I love it. Oh, Andrew, you're dead, are you? <laughs> we see. We glad. You, Andrew Breitbart, were another degenerate conservative attack dog. And we're effing glad you're dead. That's all there is to it. Go away, kid, you're bothering me. Daddy! I said go away, kid, you're bothering me. Come on, Daddy! Damn it, Jeannie, what do you want? You bad, Daddy. Why is it okay to laugh when a conservative dies? Damn it, Jeannie, can't you see I'm busy? Cut it out, Daddy. But if we laugh when conservatives die, are we therefore no better than they? Wow. <laughs> Could you repeat the question? If we laugh when conservatives die, are we therefore no better than they? Hmm. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. See, when you say something as outrageous, uh, how wonderful and outrageous, let's face it, as it's okay to laugh when conservatives die. Hi, this is Perry Logan with a message for America. Hey, conservatives are stinkers. <gasps> conservatives are the ones who essentially brought down the whole republic over the last 40 years. Don't you remember, or haven't you looked it up, the last 40 years have been almost all a conservative sleigh ride. Yeah. Oh yes it has. And what have we gotten? A decline in 
real income, a decline in real income except for the super rich that's gone on almost uninterrupted for 40 freaking years. <laughs> this, this is the gift of conservatism, don't you get it? Oh, and you know what else the conservatives give us, okay? Oh, they screw up the public health system. Mm. They attack women. Mm. They attack gays. Mm. They attack liberals. They attack unions. You get the picture? They attack our Muslim brothers and sisters, gay brothers and sisters whom I love. Basically, conservatives hate the whole freaking world. They wish it ill. They say bad things about liberals, and you can bet your booty they laugh when we die. Excuse me, raise your hand if you honest to God believe conservatives don't laugh when Democrats die. When anybody but them dies, conservatives hate everybody. They want to attack women. They want to force our sisters to have babies. Don't you get it? These people are so bad, we breathe a sigh of relief when they die. Andrew Breitbart is dead. Calm down, Daddy, or I'm going to have to hit you with the dark gun. You're babbling, Daddy. I was babbling? You are babbling. I was not babbling. You were so babbling. Was not babbling. Or babbling. Not babbling, not. Daddy, you were babbling. Now answer my question. If we laugh, if we really laugh, when these conservative dipsticks, these people who have gutted the American economy, killed people all over the world, who bad mouth their fellow Americans on hate radio every day, these despicable white wing fat conservative clowns, if we laugh at these bastards when they die, are we not no better than they? Are we not no better than they? What kind of syntax is that? Okay, uh, that's a real question. <laughs> this is a show where I am putting forth a modest proposal. Hey, how about a little modest proposal? <laughs> hey, here's my modest proposal. Let's just start openly laughing and celebrating the death of conservatives. Hey, if I am elected, it's an election year. It's March 1st, 20, 2012. Ooh! March 1st, 2012. Election year. And if I, Perry Logan, am elected, I will mandate that every American must celebrate the death of every conservative stinker who dies. <laughs> That'll make for a lot of parties. That'll make for a lot of parties. Well, are we, when we laugh and celebrate and dance on the graves of right-wing stinkers like Andrew Breitbart? Glad you're dead, Andrew. Rest in peace. May you get reborn as a tapeworm thousands of times, you right-wing degenerate you. Hey, well, this is kind of an anti-conservative show, huh? Well, I think the total stinkers, they have brought the world nothing but pain. Hey, you cannot name a single right-wing policy, program, or any other law that has ever done anyone any good. You cannot name a conservative policy that people like. Liberal policies, you can go on all day. Social Security, Medicare, the eight-hour day, workers' comp, National Weather Service, Liberal. This is liberal stuff. We're cheering liberal stuff. There's just, you can go on all day. Rural electrification. Freedom of Information Act. <laughs> FDR. Yay! Bill Clinton. Real, charismatic giants in the world of politics, okay? That's all liberal. Republican? The deficit, you know, the deficit the Republicans like to obsess about when they're not in office, they created it. They like went into their little Republican laboratory 
and experiment and said, how can we just like totally blow the deficit out of our butts? So under Reagan, to, make, to be a little more clear, <laughs> under Reagan, the deficit blew up into something along the lines of the Crab Nebula. It's been like that ever since, except guess what? Oh, no, no, you never guess. Shh, you never guess. Except for the Democrat, Bill Clinton, under whom the deficit started to go down. <gasps> Thank you, Bill. Hi. All right, so, conservatives suck. Conservatives stink. We hate them. And we're liberals, and we want to pretend like it's nice. You know? So, this is part of my justification for laughing when conservatives die. Okay? Hey, do me a favor. Will you help keep track of when some conservative stinker dies so we can have a party? Well, but here's the thing. No matter what you think of this little... It's a modest proposal thing, okay? Uh, <laughs> no matter what you think of this nonsense, we're still not as bad as them. We're still not as bad as them? As bad as they. We are still not as bad as they. Do you know why? No, why? Because we don't bloody pray for their deaths. They have all this money. They screw up the airways. They invented hate radio. Bovian politics. Swift boating. Enemies lists. Witch hunts. Hate TV. They're degenerates. They have screwed up the country totally in the last 40 years, and that's why we can't help but we laugh when you die. Hey, Mr. Conservative, you've created a world everybody hates because it was created according to your freaking principles, you degenerate, child molested, law breaking, corrupt, fat, what creepy minority, okay? That's why we laugh when you die. It's human nature. Hi, sorry, I just had a little word. But this is the honest truth. These people, oh, yeah. Perry's coming after you, conservatives, okay? Hey, we're fighting back. Give me a break. Conservatives have only spent the last 40 bloody years bad-mouthing us, okay? Now, Perry's here to pay you back. Yeah, it's not so much fun dissing liberals when they start fighting back. That's what's going on. <laughs> It's okay to laugh when conservatives die. <laughs> Andrew Breitbart, for example, a total conservative stinker, a degenerate, a liar, okay? A destroyer of reputa reputations. A destroyer of reputations. In other words, a typical goddamn conservative. Andrew Breitbart, a typical goddamn conservative, dropped dead at 43, and the whole world can't help but laugh. Can't help bloody break out the champagne. He says, laugh at the death of these miserable, degenerate, child molesting, law breaking, fat, white, rich pieces of spit. Conservatives, pieces of spit. Andrew Breitbart is dead. The whole world breathes a sigh of relief. One less conservative. <sighs> One less conservative. Ah! Goodbye, Andrew Breitbart, 43-year-old right-wing stinker, destroyer of reputations, conservative degenerate. We laugh at your death. We dance on your grave. But we don't pray for your death. You mean conservatives pray for our death? Hey, bet your butt they do. Think, of, think about these twerps, these twits, these bastards, they pose as our friends, they pose as our neighbors, right? You know what? They pray for your death. Oh, I'm sure they do. They think they're Christians who laugh when liberals die. You can bet your life they laugh when conservatives die. So we're going to laugh when you die, you understand? Dearly beloved, let us pray.
Perry! Perry! This is the whisper in your head. Perry, will you focus? What? Were you praying? Yes. I hope you weren't praying for the death of conservatives. No. No, but they damn well pray for our deaths and pray for bad things to happen to us and wish evil upon us. We're talking about right-wing bastards, okay? We're talking about the right, whom I hate. Because, well, come on, man, they hate us. They bloody celebrate their hatred of liberals. Uh, and I wanted to point out that degenerates hate liberals. No, no, no. Show me someone who badmouths liberals, and I'll show you a degenerate. They badmouth liberals, don't they? They seem to be trying to provoke us. This is when they're not opening fire on us, badmouthing liberals, women, unions, Muslims, immigrants, foreigners, everybody but the bloody kitchen sink. These stinkers just walk around, these stinkers, conservatives, they're walking around. It drives me nuts. I'm so happy when they die. <laughs> oh, hey, listen, I have watched the right dismantle the whole New Deal. This is kind of like I spent my adult life watching a tiny minority of creepy degenerate white males with a severe pedophilia problem. I've watched these bastards destroy the country, destroy the world, cause the deaths and illness of infinite numbers of people, near infinite. Those were the conservatives who've been running the show, okay? And that's why things are down the toilet. So I hate them. They hate us. They totally brag about how much they hate us. Isn't that what's, what Rush Limbaugh and Ann Coulter and all these degenerates do? They brag about how much they hate liberals. They're degenerates. Degenerates hate liberals. Remember that. Stalin went after the liberals. Hitler went after the liberals. Degenerates hate liberals, okay? And I'm just, I know that if they weren't such bloody cowards, the right would be attacking us. They would be opening fire. The right, the political right, conservatives, these bastards would be opening fire on us if they weren't such cowards. And so what they do instead, you see, is they go around, they just kind of provoke us or try to, like, you know, egg each other on. Are you familiar with this phenomenon where some hate radio dipstick, some hate radio dipstick and degenerate is trying to get like some of these cowardly white guys out there with guns. Cowardly right-wing white guys with guns. I once went to a website called Shoot a Liberal. Okay. How on earth do we keep letting these dipsticks walk around? I swear to God, the right, you know, and they have such, you know, high opinion of themselves and an air of superiority. The whole world breaks out the champagne when you little twerps die. Andrew Breitbart dropped dead the other day and the whole world celebrates. Okay? Now, you're lucky we haven't opened fire, okay? And so what they do, this is so sweet, isn't it? Isn't this cool? They're right, they'll get on the radio and stuff and try to provoke each other to hurt liberals. You know damn well. You know damn well they do. And what I'm saying is it's only a matter of time before the whole country has headed up to here. Uh, some right-winger, to be more specific, is going to do something dumb. Mark my words. It's going to be so bad, we will go out, get guns, and whoop them. The right and left are going to fight. You heard it here first. And now, Perry Logan with a message for the right. Can't say how much I love you guys. 
Um, I, I, Perry Logan, really do feel that it's okay to laugh when a conservative dies. That's how bad they are. Conservatives are a creepy minority of mostly white males, many of them degenerates, many of them prone to violence. If there's violence, it's coming from the right. If there's hate, it's coming from the right. You see what I mean? There ain't no equivalence here on the Perry Logan Show. And I can't help but appreciate the fact you stole two presidential elections in a row. Oh, give me a break. If you don't think George W. Bush didn't steal his way in, that means you believe the worst president in history won re-election by a substantial margin. Do you realize this? Of course you do. That's what they're asking you to believe. That's like the, uh, the narrative, the mainstream narrative, is that the worst president in U.S. history was re-elected by a substantial margin. That's the story. And I know you're not that stupid. So, they stole two successive presidential elections talking about our conservative friends. These little bastards who pose as our friends and neighbors. They stole two presidential elections, which I regard as a naked act of civil war. In the Perry Logan paradigm, the United States has been in a state of unannounced civil war since the Republicans stole the presidency in 2000. And the country spiraled into a complete catastrophe. I swear to God, swear to God, the right should be thankful we don't herd him into one spot and nuke him. That's a pleasant thought, isn't it? But we're not going to do it. This is all satire. Nothing in this show could, should be construed as a call to violence, even though we're kind of talking about it. Because I've had it with these people. I'm amazed we have not wiped the right out. Come on, they're a creepy minority of white males, and they're just love to just go off and pray for our deaths. They, can, they celebrate when our people die. They openly talk about their hatred of us. Can you believe this? And they are, I assure you, a creepy minority. Oh, they got a lot of money and they cheat, okay? They've got a lot of money and they cheat. And it is a wonder of the universe that we have not opened fire on them. We're going to fight them sooner or later. There's just no two ways about it. And I wanted to thank you for, those, uh, the, for putting us into a state of civil war. Hey. Did you think you were going to steal two successive presidential elections and get away with it? No. No, I'm calling the right out. Hey, you bastards stole two successive presidential elections. Either that or America re-elected the worst goddamn president ever by a substantial margin. And Americans are simply not that stupid. Americans like Social Security. Americans are happy when you little bastards die. It's human nature. Okay, so... So to cheer you all up, I wanted to mention Andrew Breitbart, just another right-wing dipstick, dropped dead the other day at 43. Let's break out the champagne! And it's okay to laugh. Hey, Andrew. Can't help but be glad you're dead, okay? Hey, at least we don't pray for your deaths like you do ours. I am just totally sure the United States will never be a safe, happy, healthy country until we, we've neutralized the right some way. I don't know how. Airlift the cool people out of Utah, herd these bastards in there, put up a fence. Hey guys, you can have your own country. This is my plan. It will be a country of mostly white males. Have a big fence around it, of course. There'd be guns everywhere. There'd be no abortions. There'd be no women. There'd be a plenty of gays, but being gay would be against the law. Wow. <laughs> Taxes would be low, but the infant mortality rate would be sky high. That's the right wing nirvana that these jerks should be, uh, you know, we should put them into a country where they would quickly die. And if they didn't have us to rip off, they would 
quickly die. And what a celebration we would have, right?